All right, double jeopardy time. Remember, we have two daily doubles in this round of play. I'm the only one with money going into this round. I have $2,000. Jenna's mine is 200 so she'll select first from these categories. Astronomy and space, 20th century design, historic documents, 1970s films, ballet, and finally, South America. Make a selection. Besides directing this 1974 film, Roland Polanski played a gangster who cut Jack Nicholson's nose. Monty? What is Chinatown? That's right. Yes. Make a selection. He designed airplanes and a man lifting kite, but is better known for the telephone. Who is Alexander Graham Bell? God, Nov. Right. Make a selection. 20th century design for 400. A painter and two architects designed the 1935 Studio 42 model of this for Olivetti. Typewriter. Make a selection. Astronomy and Space 200. The largest of these on the moon appear to be of meteoric origin, the smallest ones of volcanic origin. Um, where are craters? That's right. Yes. Like Starting in space for 400. In 1994, this country launched its first domestically designed and built rocket from Tanegashima Island. What is Japan? That's right. Like Starting in space for 600. The disappointment of any Star Trek fans, this first shuttle never went into space. What is the Enterprise? Starming in Space 800. This orbiting telescope is controlled by radio from the Goddard Flight Center in Maryland. What is the Hubble Telescope? That's right. And Select let's again. finish the category. Laika, the first canine cosmonaut, Flew aboard the second of these Russian satellites in 1957. Uh, what is Sputnik? You got it. And I ran through that category with no problem. 20th century design for six. The U.S. Pavilion at Montreal's Expo 67 was covered by one of these. Jen. There's a geodesic dome. That's a correct yes. response. Make a selection. Ballet 200. The National Ballet of this North American country celebrated its 45th anniversary in 1996. Mahdi? What is Canada? You got it. Yep.
Make a selection. Start documents for 200. The bill of sale was for this was dated April 30th, 1803. I'd say the Emancipation Proclamation or the Declaration of Independence, but I don't know. And it was neither of them. It was the Louisiana Purchase. Make a selection. Lighter than steel, this metal is also associated with the modernist style of the 1920s and 1930s. Jet. Mm. <clears throat> what is aluminum? Right. Yes. Make a selection. She's at 1200. It's bordered by every South American country except Chile and Ecuador. Um, what is Brazil? That's right. South America for 400. 15,444 square mile Marajo Island in the delta of this river was formed by sedimentary deposits. <clears throat> Mahdi. The Amazon River? That's right. Make a selection. Sammy's Films 4. Film in which Peter Finch yelled, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Mm. Monty. Mm. What is Network? That's right. Yes, and I've never seen oh, that yeah. film. Twenty century yeah. design for a thousand. The firm of Piano and Rogers is famous for this high-tech Paris landmark built, for, built between 1971 and 1977. Uh, what is the Eiffel Tower? Sorry. It Wrong. is not the Eiffel Tower. No one else. <clears throat> It was the center Pompidou. Pick again. Answer there. So Answer there. Six hundred, and there's one of the daily doubles. South America's westernmost point is Punta Carinas in this country. What is Peru? Right. Start again. Start documents for 400. Total number of thesis nailed to a church door in Wittenberg, Germany, October 31st, 1517. 95. Select again. Store documents for 600. The last line of this 1848 tract has been translated at Workers of the World Unite. Communist Manifesto. Select again. Store document 800. The pact creating this organization was signed September 8, 1954, in Manila. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. Mm. Cito. Pick again. Uh, Cito. I, however you pronounce it. Sort documents for a thousand, and there's the other daily double. Japan sur signed its surrender for World War II aboard this ship. What is the USS Missouri? That's a correct response. Yes. Select again. South America 800. 
The name of this windswept region of Argentina is from a Spanish word for big feet. Mm. Jen. What is Patagonia? You got it. Yes. Make a selection. 1970s films for 600. Marlon Brando received three million dollars to play Jor-El in this 1978 film. Hmm, it wouldn't be The Godfather because that was uh, the early 70s and this is late 70s that they're talking about. Although Marlon Brando was in The Godfather. Superman was what we needed. Make a selection. And where are we going to go now? Sunny's Films 800, looks like. David Carradine started Bound for Glory, a 1976 biography of this folk singer. Hmm. Who is Woody Guthrie? You got it. Yep. Select again. Okay. 1970s films for a thousand. Murder on this train, a Hercule Poirot mystery, took place during a journey from Istanbul to Paris. Hmm. Marty. Train Bleu. No, sorry. Anyone else? The Orient Express. Select again. Ballet for 400. When Rudolf Nureyev staged his own version of this ballet, he played Basil the Barber, not Sancho Panza. Marty. What is the Firebird? No, right, not the Firebird. Go. Anyone else? Don Quixote. Pick again. <clears throat> Ballet for 600. Jose Limon played this Shakespearean role in his own modern ballet, The Moors Pavani. And it's Bonnie. What is Macbeth? No. Sorry, wrong. Anyone that else? takes her down to 700. A fellow. Pick again. Okay, ballet 800. Act 3, scene 1 of this Tchaikovsky fairy tale ballet is called The Awakening. I'd say what is Fumbelina, but I don't know. No, it's Sleeping Beauty. Pick again. Ballet for 1000. Enigma Variations is set at the country home of this pomp and circumstance composer. Edward Elger. Select again. And that just leaves one clue left in South America. Let's see it. Almost half of the population of this smallest South American country lives in its capital, Paramaribo.
Suriname. And that brings us to All right, Final we'll Jeopardy. Thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. And our Final Jeopardy category today is the Old Testament. Okay, uh, let's see. 200. And your Final and Jeopardy, final Jeopardy answer, answer today is, is this. His mother placed him in the reeds when he was three months old and too big to hide. Who is Moses? Let's see if our control. All right, Marty, what did you say? What did you put down as your response? Who is Moses? You got it. Yes! And you're going to go to 1050. No, I'm and sorry. And Jen wrong. said Samson, which we know is wrong. So she's going to finish at 1400. You got it. And I said Moses, and that's right. And I go up to 4600. So I'm the winner once again. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. Thanks, Larry. Good game. Come on, everybody. Okay, I want 4600 in this game. 400 the last time out, uh, not counting my uh, college graduation special for great by of course. So that makes a two game total of $8,000. So I'm averaging $4,000 per victory, and there is going to be a third game coming up. I just don't know when it's going to be, but it will come. I can guarantee you that. Let's do it again real soon.